Hey guys, I wasn't going to make a video, um, so I'm sorry for the shaky camera. Um, but what I'm going to do is show you how I took these Dollar Tree Clover plaques. There's three of them. And I'm going to make a door hanging for our front door. Um, this is not my project. It's just one I saw and I wanted to try. So we've got the three plaques. We've got a tube of the caulk. I've got some Dollar Tree green paint. I've got some Waverly ink chalk paint. And I've got some Waverly wax. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm good. I've got the gloves out for when I put do, do the stain. So the first thing we're going to do is take these um, ties off the top of them, the little hanger, the jute ties. That didn't cut very well, but let me go ahead and pull those out of there. Go ahead and pull those out of there. Get rid of those because we're not going to need those. And I've got some caulking here, just some lightweight caulking, also from the Dollar Tree that we're going to fill those holes in with um, and on all three of them there's two holes you're going to fill in fill in those completely so here we go we're just going to take that and smooth that in there i'm going to try to get it as smooth as possible and uh, get it all filled in there flat against it and then i've got to let it dry but um, you want to make sure too when you're doing this that once it's dry that you take a little sanding uh, strip some you know something to sand it with and sand it smooth because that stain is hard to stick to that um even though it feels chalky the the stain um will leave it'll be wider there than on the rest of the plaque so so i'm gonna go ahead and get these all filled in for you and my work surface is our dining room table and of course i put this these plaques right in the middle of the warp part of it. So I've got to, there's a little warp in, in the middle of the table. Um, it was used, hey, you know, what are you gonna do? But uh, let me go ahead and get all these filled in and get them filled in good and get it all smoothed out. So y'all bear with me. And um, like I said, this wasn't meant to be a video. I was trying, trying to take pictures of what I was doing and I noticed I was recording. So, you know, I went, I was like, hey, let's go with it. So I'm trying to do this and I'm holding the phone at the same time. So I apologize for the shaky bit here. But let me get these all filled in. Like I said, get it all smoothed out. go and there's one I'll finish in let me smooth that little part out right there yeah try to want to flat as possible and then um, like I said we're gonna let those dry next thing I'm gonna do is I want a puff texture to the paint so I'm taking this caulk mastique and I'm gonna mix it in with some some of this green Dollar Tree paint and a little dot of this um, ink paint because I want, I want the heart part of this clover to be kind of um, like a stippled effect, a puff ink paint. And you'll notice in the finished product, it, uh, it didn't turn out as puffy as I intended. I think I'd used too much paint to the caulk ratio. I probably should have used like twice the amount of caulk to the paint because I really wanted kind of a puffy texture. Now, the finished product came out great. I love it, but... Um, Anyway, so that's what you're seeing here. I'm, I'm going ahead and stippling this in here, uh, trying to get it all covered up. And I'm going to go ahead and get the, this done. And the brush I'm using is actually a, um, it's a makeup brush. Um, I got it from Dollar Tree. It's got a really soft bristle on it. It's really easy to paint with, easy to clean up with, and it doesn't leave streaks like when you're painting and everything. So that's a good little hack for you if you go to the Dollar Tree to uh, looking for brushes to go over to the makeup department and get one of these cool brushes. But I'll go ahead and get these others finished here. See, if you notice, I had to move it over into the flatter part of the table. There's one little part that it sounded like the, the, the plaque was rocking there. But like I said, I'm trying to um, hold this phone while I'm doing this. Okay, 
okay so we're just going to go ahead and get all these filled in all the little nooks all the little crannies stipple 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 and if you get some paint on the side of it i'm gonna go ahead and wipe that down you don't really have to worry about it being such a mess because that uh i'm gonna stain it with that waverly wax and it's going to cover that really well i just want to get the big lobs off of there but uh, no matter how careful you are you know you <laughs> You still make a mess here and there. You can take a little utility knife and kind of scrape it off of the wood, and that'll help um, also when you're uh, when you're ready to put the Waverly wax on there. I love the Waverly wax. That's one of my favorite favorite products that I've used. I'm almost out of it, but uh, I I use it on everything. I love the the wood the wood look to it. And it's so easy. You just apply it, and then you wipe it down. It's it's such an easy, such an easy product to use, and I love it. I guess I get that at Walmart, and that bottle lasts forever. But let me go ahead and get all these finished up on this first one, and so I'll show it to you here in just a second. I'm trying to add a little bit more texture to it, um, but like I said, I was trying to get a puff, textury feel to it, but. Anyway, that's the first one done. Got all three of those hearts colored in. Got a little bit of a mess right there, but like I said, that's going to cover up so nicely. But uh, So now I've got to take and do these other two. And we're going to be back in just a minute uh, when those are done. So now you can see I'm getting... Got them all three done. They need to dry. And um, now you can let them dry naturally. Um, or you can take your heat gun and dry them. But I didn't want to mess with them while they were wet because, well, you know, because that's just a mess waiting to happen. But anyway, here they are dry, and you can see they've got texture on them. And the longer they sat there and the longer they cured, the, the less of the puff texture I saw. But like, So like I said, I need to uh, double up the, the caulk next time. But now what I'm going to do is take this antique and I put a little bit in a cup and I'm just going to paint all these areas in the middle of all these hearts now. And uh, there's one done already. And uh, basically what you do is you paint it on and then you're going to, like what I'm doing here, and you can get right up to the edge because the bottom of those hearts are right around the edges is kind of a brown color. So if you get it on there, it's not going to matter anyway. And then I'm going to outline them in a little bit of black. I'm, I'm sorry, in a little bit of the Waverly Wax anyway in just a little bit. But um, anyway, so I'm trying to take this sponge here with one hand and show you how you paint that on and then wipe it down. So you got to forgive my camera technique here. But anyway, here we are. got a little bit there but I just do little sections at a time I go ahead and paint it get everything wiped down and then while I'm doing this I'm trying to make sure I get the sides of it too the uh, the sides of the plaque around the edges to make sure that they're um, got a little bit of that weight you know that wax on it also but just even out the tone and if it's not dark enough for you you can always go back and put seconds and third coats on it however dark or light you want it I mean I could have painted it on and left it but I like that natural wood texture so now what I'm doing here, I got them all done, and I'm taking that Waverly Wax with the brush, and I'm brushing it around the hearts, and then I'm going to wipe it down with the sponge. I just felt like it gave it a little bit more definition. Um, if I'd have had some gold paint or a gold uh, a gold pen, I would have done it with gold, but I, I, I like the look of that Waverly Wax. It kind of gives it some definition and, and everything, so... And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of that black paint and go around the edges here. Do the same thing uh, with those as I did with the hearts. You know, just give it some definition. So there's one of my first ones done. And I'm going to do all three of them the same way. But uh, I really, really like how they turned out. There's one of these, the, the hearts look kind of, <laughs> this one right here, it kind of looks like a, a dinosaur skin or something so I'm not real crazy about that it's just happened on one of them but I'm going to put that welcome sign on that I have a metal welcome sign that I got uh, from Dollar Tree as well so when all three of them are done I took a piece of burlap ribbon and I lined them all up and hot glued them down I put the welcome sign on it 
and it's hanging on our front door now and I think it looks wonderful this took this project took me about an hour and a half to do uh, only because I had some drawing time and everything I um, like I said I'm not exactly thrilled about the puff paint part of it I wish I had gone back and done a second coat but um, I think it turned out beautiful and it's a it's a what a three dollar project and it was a lot of fun to do um, so I hope you'll try it